up. I love the space program. But nobody doing that stuff looked like me. Very few people today even have a clue about black people's contribution to human spaceflight. That was the only black in aerospace. The only black NASA in the only black officer on the first black astronaut. Because they weren't written in history books. In the early days of the civil rights movement, NASA wanted to show that they were engaged in equality for all. I was told by friends and enemies alike, you're 20 years too soon, buddy. If you qualify and would like to be an astronaut, now is the time. This is your NASA. I don't think America or anybody knew. I was a body, in a way. It was imaginary. It was a lie. Around the same time, there was a Cuban who was the first person of color to fly. The Soviets made that history. Not the United States. To see a black man in space, it would have changed things. Three of us. I'll recognize that one of us would be the first black astronaut. I would have made it to the moon. One small step for man. But they were not going to let that happen. Representation becomes critically important to help us keep moving down that path. Back in the day, they were saying that blacks are too ignorant to be flying in space. I'm smitten to tear up there doing all these wonderful things. Black history is American history. We forget it at our peril. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for The Space Race arriving on National Geographic on February 12th, as well as Disney Plus and Hulu the day after. I'm Kuyi P, Nerds Rule the World, joining me. I'm so excited to talk to you both so much. The directors, producers, Lisa Cortez, as well as Diego Hurtado. Her, Diego Hurtado de Mendoza. I knew I was going to mess it up. I apologize. Perfect. Um, <laughs> a pleasure to chat with you both. If you would have caught me like 30 minutes ago, you would have saw tears, ju just all of that. I needed some time to recover. Uh, such a powerful documentary, and I just want to say thank you off the top. Uh, so good, so amazing. And uh, as a filmmaker myself, uh, the North, it's like a North Star. This is why, I, uh, as a, as a documentary, because it's the documentaries you want to make, the type of films you want to make, and you both just did an amazing job. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kuya. Appreciate it. So in regards to the subject material, um, you know, the space race, black astronauts, so inspiring. What I'm curious what knowledge you knew, because now, again, when we people can see it, they can achieve it. That is what's going to happen with this. And so, again, tremendous that we have this. What not? I'm, I was curious what knowledge you had coming into the project and or through the research of putting this together, what you learned along the way. Uh, yeah. uh, sure. Um, look, I think we all know about astronauts. We all have it's. You know, one of the defining elements of, of American culture. I mean, around the world, everyone looks at the U.S. and the first image you get is an astronaut planting an American flag on the moon. So we knew some of these stories. But once you start digging in, it was just fascinating. We we're hooked. I mean, you're dealing with the most incredibly excellent individuals on planet Earth. We're advancing our knowledge as a species. They're going out doing the most difficult things in space and the most advanced science. But our goal was always to tell their story through give them agency let them tell their own story in a in a more meaningful way that with read when you read the biographies everything's been cleaned out you know they're media trained so there's a message that's clearly the script and we wanted to get underneath that and that takes time that gave, that takes trust you got to earn the respect and their trust and so we were very fortunate to have former astronaut Leland Melvin as one of our executive producers, who is part of that community, he's one of them. And so he could kind of helped us navigate that community and, and, and get inside. So that was incredible. Love it. Lisa, for you, again, working on the project, get, getting involved, working with all of these folks, learning about this history. Uh, you've done amazing work yourself. So this falls in line. Uh, how was it for you uh, interacting with all these amazing folks? It, it was, I would always pinch myself to say that I get to spend time with these heroes who for the most part 
are unheralded. You know, they're not part of the, the popular culture and they have done so much for humanity. And so, um, you know, I, as, as Guy Bluford always says, hey, we don't leap tall buildings in a single bound, but in my mind and in my heart, they actually do. Um, you know, they are uh, just great servants of the world um, and uh, they do it with great humility and, and graciousness. Uh, there has only been 17 African and African Latino, um, inclu you know, including um, Tamayo Mendez, uh, astronauts. You know, so this is a very small group of people. This is a small universe um, who, you know, are persevering and triumphing against all kinds of odds. I love it. Uh, I, again, I want to just, again, thank you for this. It actually, in a funny way, inspired me as a creative, as a filmmaker. Um, and I was so happy it was brought up uh, as we learned through uh, Ed Dwight uh, and him becoming a part of the program and not getting the acknowledgement. Um, they were looking for Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, my wife's grandfather was a Tuskegee pilot who was shot down, came back, started teaching at Howard, then got into the space program. And I'm curious the parallels with that. And I can't wait to for my wife to see this with that and to see if that's maybe the reason why uh, he got into that. Um, you're going to inspire a whole you know, new generation with this. Uh, if we can end up with that, because I only have a couple minutes left. Uh, what do you hope people pick uh, for, up from this as we head into Black History Month as this is released as well? So hopefully people can just see these amazing heroes. Uh, back to you, Diego. Well, we really hope we, in all the screenings we've had, the reactions we see the, with the, from the audience is, I think it's an incredibly inspiring film where you're going to see the best of us doing the most incredible things in space. And it allows anyone, any kid to dream big and, and, and think they can do it and, and realize they can do it when there's people that look like you that are living proof. I love it. And Lisa, final word, if you can, uh, for the audience. I always like to quote the incredible Charlie Bolden, who says African-American history is American history. And to forget it, you do so at your peril. Yes, I love it. Thank you both so much, everybody. February 12th, the space race will arrive on National Geographic as well as Disney Plus and Hulu the day after. Lisa, Diego, I will be chatting this up. I'll be talking about it on WTOP FM radio here in D.C. So everybody can then go to the Space Museum, the Air and Space Museum, so they can just get into the culture. Such a pleasure chatting with you both. Thank you both very so much. Everybody, Thank you. check it out. <laughs> Bye, guys. I started losing myself. I'm just amazed. You guys did an excellent job. And now Thank you got you your, your beautiful energy. Yeah, I appreciate it. You got me walk wanting to work on my Tuskegee documentary again. So do it. I can't wait. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Take care. Take care for you. Wonderful. Will do. Thank you so much. Kuya P, nerds rule the world. It's a pleasure to chat with you both. Let's get into it. Um, here we go in a one, two, three.